15 defense from scratch. I am so excited for this. I have not properly played RuneScape in a few years. That is no exaggeration. Ever since I started making YouTube videos, I have only PK'd. PKing has not had very many good updates, no changes at all. So in this dead time where I'm just not enjoying PKing, I am going to be building a unique account build, which is the 13 defense build. Now 13 defense is a build that you definitely do not see every day. And some people kind of just take it as a meme build or the account you would make if you fail your pure. But that's just simply not true. Being 13 defense, you can actually unlock quite a bit more content than a 1 defense pure. I'm not going to go into everything, but just a few examples. You can unlock a Slayer Helm. You can unlock Fairy Rings. Zerishin Robes, which are the best rag robes in the game, you can use a black defender, hard leather body, you can unlock the white armor, and we can't forget adamant gloves, which every pure wishes that they could use. There is a lot of different things that you can do that, that you just can't do on a one defense pure. For the people that only watch my channel for PKing content, that is completely understandable. Maybe just wait till like the third episode or something and I'll definitely be PKing by then. But for everyone else that enjoys the account building process, this series is for you guys. This intro doesn't need to be any longer. Let's get right into the content. There we go, 14 days of membership on the account. That is the only trades we will be doing on this account is trading over for uh, the bonds, obviously, because pff, I'm a bum. I'm not gonna pay $11 to play RuneScape. This is 2019, brother. So I kind of already have a game plan in mind of what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm obviously not the most efficient RuneScape player, but I will be thinking of, you know, ways to make this grind a little bit more efficient. Instead of going out to the wilderness like a crackhead and looting, you know, sharks off the ground, I'm just gonna get my 36 woodcutting requirement and then sell the logs from that as my starter cash. Because I don't see why more people don't do that. You need 36 woodcutting anyways, and it's not any slower. So, might as well just knock that out of the way. And there we go, boys. The first accomplishment of the account 35 woodcutting. My balls don't even ache yet. You know, that wasn't bad at all. That's the requirement for animal magnetism. And that quest will actually get you to 36 woodcutting for Lost City. So, yeah. We're just going to see how many logs we have in the bank here. And I'm going to get a price check on these to see what our starter cash is going to be. And we have got 18k off of the oak logs. So that's not too bad. I mean, realistically, I mean, it's obviously shite money. Like, you can wipe your ass with 20k. But you need the woodcutting requirement anyways, so it just seems efficient to do that first. But now we need to get 13 mage, and then I can start some lava dragons, which I haven't killed since, like, 2016 dead man mode. So that should be fun. There we go. 13 mage. Let's go, uh... Hope we can get lucky on some lava dragons and not get one hit. I do have 11 HP, so... You know, let's hope I don't smash anything. I'm feeling so fucking hype right now for my first lava dragon kill. What? Chocolate cakes? Literal shit cakes. Like, what? What? Are, how much are these even worth? Fuck off. Oh my god. Oh, my second kill. We get on... I'm fucking out of here. Well, I'm not a little beta male. Nah, I'm not gonna bank after every Onyx Bolt kill. I mean, that's like huge. How much are these things anyways? 100,000 quid. Straight to the bank already. That is the first trip at Lava Dragons done. We got pretty lucky. I also copped a Rune Kite Shield, which I'm definitely gonna sell. The only thing I'm probably not going to sell is the runes, um, just because I'm going to need those anyways later on. But uh, yeah, let's sell this real quick. And collect, oh, for sure, 250k already. The account's not even two hours old yet. Collect the second trip, and we have 365k now, and I've upgraded to the uh, Firebolt. It is so much faster than fire strike. I would if you do if you guys do this, I would recommend upgrading to firebolt as soon as possible. Makes it way less annoying. 
So, no lucky drops on my last trip, but we are about to see how much money we are going to make. Oh, we have over 500k. The account is not even a few hours old. We already have half a mil. And we have a good foundation uh, to start questing. I now have 43 mage. So, fuck. I think I'm going to go get some agility now. And then we're definitely going to start some questing. So just a quick tip for you guys, if you're playing from scratch too, or maybe you just don't know, but 10 marks of grace is actually worth over 100k if you sell it to the uh, agility shop in Birthrup. Oh, what the fuck is We're about to get it, boys. We're almost done. Oh, there we go. 25 agility. I'm not going to lie. Feels like I got kicked in the nuts from that grind, but now we have unlocked. Where is it? Uh, the... Now we have unlocked 25 agility to do the Grand Tree quest. And it's just more efficient. Now we have more run energy than just being one agility. First quest of the account complete. Um, but I'm while I'm in Lumbridge, I'm going to get two birds stoned at once. And we're going to do Rune Mysteries. And uh, what's that other quest? Uh, priest in... No, not Priest in Shitville. Uh, 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 a few inches later, the restless ghost. Yeah, the restless ghost. So let's get those done real quick. There we go. Restless ghost completed. And there is rune mysteries. It took me six minutes and 30 seconds to do both of those quests. So since I was in Draenor, I thought I would knock out Ernest the chicken as well as Vampire Slayer. So, uh, I'm already done with Vampire Slayer. I just have to kill the vampire. So, for both of those quests combined, it took me 7 minutes and 40 seconds, which I don't think is too bad, considering uh, I'm not using a guide or anything. We have got our first attack experience. There is Fight Arena completed. I actually really like this quest, um, just because it's nostalgic for me. But another thing that's amazing is the uh, thieving. You get to uh, skip 1 through 14, you know, and avoid the carpal tunnel that you get from pickpocketing men or... Doing the cake stall. Alright, there we go. Just gotta wait for them to do their little satanic ritual. I wouldn't be surprised if they sacrificed a goat or something. But, uh, Tree Gnome Village has been completed. A shitload of attack experience, and we have now unlocked the tree spirits to teleport with. The absolute best quest to get done in the game. No argument there. 1 to 30 strength, just like that. We are also sitting at 41 attack now. We're starting to look like a literal beefcake. So uh, let's go do the Grand Tree. <coughs> Alright, <clears throat> there is the Grand, <laughs> the grand Tree completed. Um, we are looking pretty nice now. I mean, look at that agility XP. We went from 25 straight to 31. So I woke up for a fresh day of RuneScape and decided that I was going to go on a questing spree. We did Doric's quest there. Now we did Drudic Ritual, which is uh, what you need for the dig site, which if you want to do Desert Treasure, you got to do it. And then one of the more important quests, Priest in Peril, we finished, which is easy as shitballs. And then we did the Knight's Sword, which we will need for the Tourist Trap, because we need 20 smithing. And then I went ahead and did Goblin Diplomacy, which we need for Recipe for Disaster. And then I decided to do the Fishing Contest, which is uh, another requirement for RFD. Finished Murder Mystery, another RFD quest for those Adamant Gloves. The Death Plateau quest which, uh, you know, unlocks the climbing boots. Every peer should have this done, no matter what. Absolutely no exceptions. And then I decided to go ahead and finish Troll Stronghold, which is a requirement for DT, just because I was in the area, and it's a really easy quest. You just safe spot everything. Delrith is sucked into his vortex. Quest complete! Oh, that's a cute little animation. Getting fucking no clip to a tree, though. Anyways, Demon Slayer is completed. 
So I was honestly dreading doing this part, but if you have the Runelight client, it gives you the right answer. This shit took me like two minutes. And you get a free 9 Hunter and free 9 Slayer uh, from the uh, Varrock Museum. So I need a little bit of a break from questing because, you know, that shit can drive a man crazy. I'm already crazy enough. I don't, don't want to turn into a psychopath of some sort for doing too many quests in RuneScape. But uh, I'm going to even out my uh, strength level, get like 45 strength, maybe not 45, this will probably take a while, but I'm going to get a few combat levels while uh, picking up herbs, you know, making a little bit of money while training. I could go to sand crabs, but I honestly do need money right now. So I trained here until 44 strength, we almost got 45, but I hit 40 combat here, and I definitely wanted to test my slayer luck. I need 19 Slayer, or maybe it's it's 18, yeah. 18 Slayer for Animal Magnetism. And once you're 40 combat, you can use this Slayer Master. So, I ended up getting Hobgoblins. Which was a little bit annoying, but as you can see, I persisted. I fire strike them, and uh, yeah. Now I can unlock Wilderness Slayer. All you have to do is one regular task. And then you can do Wildy Slayer. Um, so even if it's like a level 3 cow task or something. We are now sitting at 52 magic. Which is actually pretty nice. Because I haven't actively tried to train magic yet. It's just kind of happened from trying to make money and stuff. And we did actually get a Ranar Seed from that last task. Which is 50k. It's pretty fat. But right now we are on our way to get a Wilderness task. Test my RNG. This could be absolutely horrible, or it could be amazing. But uh, let's talk to this slut. I need another assignment. Before I assign you anything, I should have to Yes, I understand. I'm not a pussy. 148 Ice Warriors, that is not bad. I can fire strike those in a safe spot. That's actually a pretty decent task. Um, if I can get some good RNG on my Mysterious Emblem. So this video is most likely getting demonetized due to the fact I used copyrighted songs, but you can help the pain with that by subscribing. And also, if you guys want to see more from this, I mean, if you watched up to this point, you might as well subscribe. Like, come on, don't be arrogant. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We are about to do our wilderness task. But you guys are going to have to wait until next video to see if we get lucky. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in a couple days with the next episode.